Welcome to the Master Your Magnetism podcast, where I interview top experts to help you create the life and relationship you've always wanted. Today, I'm talking with Matt Schaefer, again, my very good friend and fellow coach. Welcome, Matt. Thanks for joining me today. Hi, Helena. It is so exciting to be back. It's I love connecting with you and your community. This is going to be so much fun. I'm really looking forward to diving into this topic. Today, we're going to be sharing four things a man needs to feel in order to fall in love and truly commit to a woman. Matt is an empowerment, connection, and relationship coach. He's just a total expert on this topic and the perfect person to bring on and talk about this. So is there anything you want to say before we jump into this topic, Matt? Well, I'm really excited to dive into this because I work with thousands of women around the world. And honestly, the way men think and feel is a little different, <laughs> right? A lot of times than the way women think and feel. So I want to bridge that gap and help you understand that. But I also want to offer an amazing free gift to everyone mm -hmm. in your community. I am going to be opening up another beta launch of my flagship program, Mastery of Connection. We're going to be starting in February and it's going to be a three-week free course experience where you're going to get a chance to master your relationships with men and with yourself from the inside out. And we've, we've done this before, haven't we, Helena? Absolutely. I say this all the time. I offer so many free eBooks and courses and programs to the women in my community. And I'm always very clear if you're going to take one free course I offer ever, definitely take this one because it's so in depth. It will just absolutely change your life. We've had thousands of women from my community literally go through this free course and they all say that it's just transformed everything for them, whether they're single or in a relationship. So I I highly recommend it and it's totally free. So I'll include a link in the description or the episode details. And by the way, if you're listening to this on Spotify or Apple podcasts or anywhere else, and you'd like to see a video of this episode, I'll include a link in the description to that as well. I had to bring Matt on my YouTube channel and record this as a video because he's just a total favorite over there. So we'll talk a little bit more about your free course at the end, but let's dive into this topic. What is that first thing a man needs to feel to fall in love and truly commit? Okay, so it's important when we're talking about uh, what it's going to take for a man to fall in love and commit to you that to recognize that for men, you know, there is an inherent sacrifice, right, in our heads, in in, in commitment and in and in taking that next step, right? Because freedom is such a huge thing, freedom to date, freedom to give and share our lives to others. So commitment represents a degree of sacrifice. So in order for a man to want to make that investment in you, there are certain things that he needs to feel. And I like to use a uh, an acronym, right? A word. Uh, a man needs to be ripe in order mm -hmm. to commit to and fall in love with you. That's R I P E. You want your man to be ripe. So the first letter is R, and by R I mean ready for commitment with you. A man needs to feel ready, and he needs to feel ready on a couple different levels. The first off, he needs to be emotionally ready, emotionally ready, and emotionally available for the type of commitment that you want. Now, men tend to emotionally develop a little slower than women in general, and there's really no guarantee, no matter how old he is, that a man is emotionally ready. So uh, what does it look like for a man to be emotionally ready for commitment with you. So the first thing is he needs to be open and connected to his art. He needs to not be afraid of being vulnerable with you, acknowledging you, and he needs to be willing to share his feelings, right? So he have, have you experienced that in your relationship, Selena? Absolutely. Everything you're saying is just resonating with me so much. And I see that and hear that from the women in my community as well. Yeah. So emotional readiness, right? He's talking about his feelings. He's willing to be open with you. And also no uh, ex baggage is important, right? So he's at peace with his exes. He doesn't have a lot of unresolved emotional issues with them. Okay. He needs to be past that. He needs to have no past attachments. The other type of readiness is he needs to be physically ready. He needs to feel physically ready. He needs to have a, a, enough resources and be in a place in his life and his, in his career where he's in a, in a position to commit to you. We have this inherent sense of responsibility as men to be the provider, to be the physical container for the relationship, right? And so if a man's whole life is in turmoil and he's not, he's not feeling like he's physically in a place to be able to hold a container for you, he's really going to have a hard time committing. Does that make sense? 
Absolutely. I hear from women all the time who have attracted men who are either not over their ex or still have baggage or they're not at a place in their life where they feel ready to commit to a real relationship. So I completely agree with everything you're saying. Yeah. So, and you'll, and you'll be able to see this, this man will be grounded. He will be uh, very present and passionate about who he is and what he's up to in the world. So you'll be able to feel it if a man is, has got this R fully locked mm -hmm. down for you or not. Yes, absolutely. So what does the I stand for? I'm really curious myself yeah. now. So the I in RIPE stands for inspired, inspired mm -hmm. by you and the prospect of your future together, right? And so this brings up, this brings up a really interesting sort of uh, dichotomy, right? It, about inspiration versus obligation. You want a man to be moving forward in relationship with you because he is inspired, by you and by the prospect of being with you in relationship. And I feel like a lot of men out there, uh, they move forward in relationship because they feel like they have to, you mm -hmm. know, because otherwise that woman's going to leave, you know, and, 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 uh, Helena and all you ladies watching, do you want a man out there who's staying with you or going into a commi committed relationship with you just because you kind of force the issue <laughs> or do you want a man who's inspired and activated to do so? Right. That's something I say all the time is you might be able to apply some sort of tactic to get a man to commit to you, but then you'll end up in a situation down the road where your needs might not be getting met because he wasn't inspired from within to make that commitment all on his own. And then what do you do? You can't date other men because you're exclusively committed to this guy. So you don't want to get yourself in that situation, right? Exactly. Exactly. So what is a man who is inspired to be in a relationship you look like? He is being proactive, right? He is taking initiative. He is actively working to claim you, right? Uh, mm -hmm. you know, in my, in my relationships, my, my, my last few relationships where I have been very inspired to enter into them, you know, I have proactively claimed my partner because I truly feel that, uh, if you're in, if you're in this place of inspiration, a man will be operating from an empowered place and he's just going to go for it. And he's going to want to claim you and bring you into his life. That is very, very true. And you can feel the difference there. One is trying to pull this guy along and catch him up to where you are. And the other one is he wants to move things forward all on his own. So I love that. Yeah, it'll be a lot. It'll be a lot easier. It'll lot be. It'll, it'll flow a lot better, and you'll feel a lot safer in an inspired container with the masculine. So true. So, what does that P stand for, Matt? The P stands for proud. A man needs to be proud. He gets to feel proud of you as his partner, and he as yours. So this is a man who wants to share you with the people in his life. He's, he wants to introduce you to his family, to his friends. He talks about you to the people in his life, and he wants to integrate you into his life, right? He wants you to meet the people in his life. He wants to bring you home for Christmas. He's, he's actively looking to connect you with his friends. You know, that sense of pride will be tangible, right? Is he willing to show you, share you on his social media authentically? You know what I'm saying? Like this is, this is very powerful and very, uh, very, you'll, you'll feel really happy to be with a man if he is, if he's proud of you in, in all senses of the word. And that is that pride is a natural and important part of commitment. It really is. It really is. I hear from so many women who say that the man in their life has met all of her friends and family, and she's been very open about their relationship, but she kind of feels like a secret because he hasn't introduced her mm. to very many people in his life. So that is an important one. I'm so glad you included that. Are we ready for E? So the E stands for he gets to feel enamored by you. This means that he has deep romantic feelings towards you. He is truly captivated by you. He's captivated by your energy. He holds space for you in a really powerful way. He's a active listener. He's deeply present for you, with you, right? He, he likes to eye gaze with you. He remembers the small details of your conversations. He's not, he's not looking at his phone all the time when he's with you. You truly feel like a priority by a man who is enamored by you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, another thing that will will determine if a man is enamored by you or that you'll be able to tell is uh, if he is invested in your feelings. He really cares about how you feel. He asks you how you feel. He demonstrates that he's invested in how you feel. And if you tell him that something feels good or that you would love something to change because it doesn't feel good, he immediately goes into action you know, to sort of like act, adopt and acclimate to your own feelings. 
Like, yeah, I'm sure your so husband true. does this for you. I'm sure this husband does, your husband does this for you. Absolutely. Isn't All it? the time. It's almost like he can anticipate my feelings or anticipate my needs. And not that every man is perfect with that all of the time. Of course, it's mm -hmm. important to be able to express some of these things. But a man who's truly for you is going to want to be that person in your life. He's going to want to be your hero and meet your needs and make you happy. So you want to look out for a man who embodies some of these qualities too. So this was great, Matt. We did it. We recorded a short video. Wow. <laughs> we always miracle. tend to go forever. I love that. Do you want to recap these four points? And then let's definitely tell everyone a little bit more about your free course. Absolutely. Okay. So remember, ladies, for a man to be ready for commitment, for a man to be ready to be in a relationship, he gets to be ripe, R-I-P-E. And that R stands for emotionally and physically ready. He gets to be emotionally ready to be in a relationship. He doesn't have a lot of X baggage. He doesn't have a lot of junk hanging out. He's, he's working on himself. He's healed his trauma and he needs to be physically ready. He needs to be in a place to be a physical container for you. He needs to be grounded in his career, in his purpose, in his abundance, and able to bring you into his life as his woman. The I stands for inspired. He gets to be inspired. He gets to feel inspired by you and your future together. And remember, he gets to be uh, operating from inspiration, not from obligation. You do not want to be in a relationship or get brought into a relationship where both you are only in it because you're afraid of not being together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that P stands for pride. A man gets to feel proud of you if he wants to be in relationship with you. So he's introducing you to his friends and family, wanting to integrate you deeper into his life. And he wants to be a part of yours. He wants to meet the people in your life and share you with everybody, right? It'll be, feel like he's wanting to scream your name from the rooftops. And the E in RIPE stands for enamored. You want a man to be enamored by you, deeply invested in your feelings, captivated by your energy, right? He, he, he holds space for you so beautifully. He's deeply present when he's with you. And uh, you'll be able to feel it if a man is enamored, right? And the last thing I want to share with you on these four letters is that a lot of women will just find out, find that a man is enamored with them for a brief period of time and assume that he's in love with them. Okay. Mm. But if a man is enamored by you, but he has not, but he has not got these other three letters, he is not ready. He is not inspired and he's not proud of you in that he's not sharing you publicly with his people. He's probably not fully ready yet. Okay. Mm. So make sure that all four of those are in place. <laughs> I was just going to ask you that. Yeah. So it sounds like you need all four, three out of four probably isn't quite enough, right? Three out of four is not enough, truly. <laughs> like a man needs to, truly, that readiness is important. A man wants to be coming to that relationship from an inspired place, and he should have no issues sharing you with the outside world. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he needs to be and gets to feel enamored by you. But if he has all four of those, I guarantee you he is ripe and ready to be in a committed, beautiful relationship. And all that matters is for you to invite him to take that next step. And we'll this was happen. phenomenal, Matt. I really like this. And again, I think these are really fantastic qualities to look for in a potential partner too, right? So let's talk about Mastery of Connection. The link to apply to be a beta tester is in the description. And again, it's not just free to apply. The entire course is free. Mm -hmm. So I'd love to hear everything that's going on with that and when it's starting too. Absolutely. Okay. So it's going to be starting uh, the week before Valentine's Day. We're going to be diving in in February. It's going to be a three week transformational relationship course. So in this course, which is going to have live coaching with me over 50 hours of live coaching and workshops with me and my team of coaches, you and our Facebook community of women, right? We are going to be diving deep into your beliefs, into your attachment style, and into your personality type to really help you understand how and why you've gotten into relationships the way you have up until now and help you transform your relationships from the inside out out. So this is going to really help you get to the bottom of maybe why your relationships haven't been working out or why they, why you've been in a certain pattern of relationship and help you change the way that you think and feel and see relationships and intimacy so that you can have better relationships with men and everyone else in your life. And you're going to get tons of live coaching with me. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to do uh, over a dozen live workshops on the third week of this course. So truly it's the best value <laughs> out there and it is absolutely free. We just, uh, last thing, last time we had, geez, like we had thousands of women in there and it was so much fun. And every, every year, right. Women from my community, women that have gone through this course, they attract beautiful relationships. They get married. I think we had three marriages, uh, mm. last month super beautiful and a healing, you know, generations of trauma 
from past relationships. You mean really, truly, as you transform, the relationships that you have transform. So uh, it'll help you no matter what stage of dating or relationship you may be in, or even if you're feeling like you're not even in a place <laughs> to mm -hmm. be in a relationship right now. Yeah, no matter where you are in your love life, this will absolutely help you attract and maintain that relationship you've always dreamed of. And if people are listening to this after February of 2022, they should still apply, right? Because I know you open up different rounds of this course throughout the year periodically, right? Exactly, exactly. For sure, uh, sign up and you'll be put on the wait list for our next course and you'll be put in the loop for all the amazing things that I'll be rolling out. Uh, I'll be rolling out throughout the year. So I'm always offering new, cool, free courses, and I'll be definitely to be doing another launch later in the year. So yeah, no matter what time of year, no matter what year you find this, sign up and I will be sure to take great care of you. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Matt. That is so generous. Again, number one course I recommend if you're going to take anything from me, definitely take this free course from Matt because it will just help you so much. So thank you so much again. And I hope I can bring you on my podcast again soon. I look forward to it, my dear. Talk to you soon.